guys morning so i did say that i would make a video of us moving i'm not gonna too much edit it out um or put any kind of sound effects it is this is what it is and this is what i'm delivering my life free of any kind of editing kind of video but i just want to say today is the day we are moving today we have some friends and family that are coming to help us move into the new place i will kind of give you a backlog of what we're moving <laughs> we've cleaned off the terrace the only thing that's in there now is our seating bench um we're also moving out the bedroom so it is no longer a bedroom it's more like what used to be a bedroom <laughs> So I am going to be shooting throughout the day to kind of show you the new apartment, to show you where we're putting our stuff. It is early here. It is like 8.14 European time. So I am suspecting that half of y'all people in the States who are like 8, 9, 10 hours behind will not see this video until you get up, of course, your time, which is totally fine. I'll be here entertaining you. So... As you know, your girl will be back. Bye, guys. So, we finished putting all this stuff into the new apartment. I didn't shoot any footage from that because I'm just exhausted. But um, I will be showing you what it looks like inside. <laughs> Not that all this stuff is there. My fiance is laughing because it's, 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 it's really like... We had a lot of stuff in the basement when we had um, the old apartment had storage in the basement. So there was a lot of stuff in there that I couldn't fit in our apartment when I had moved in with him originally. So a lot of my stuff got put downstairs. So we will be, I'll be taking you like a little tour of the apartment. This um, episode today won't be as long as my usual episodes that are usually like 30 40 minutes to an hour um, we are extremely tired we've been up since around 6 40 this morning um, trying to just prepare and get things ready because of people coming to help us um, we were able to get everything done within two hours so that's pretty awesome um, and we just returned the rental truck, so that's done. I know, right? Load off. But yeah, so I just wanted to come back to y'all to give y'all an update and to kind of tell you where we're at right now in the whole moving process. But I will be back with you to do the inside house tour and to kind of talk to y'all a little bit about what my vision is for the apartment as far as style and design. All right, guys. Okay guys, we're back. So I said I was going to update you on our move. <laughs> this is our bedroom. Well, will be our bedroom when we finally get settled. All my shoes in the window, that's not even the half of them. I have three full boxes of shoes and other shoes. So this is our hallway. You know Renee. Hello, hello. Uh, that is our bathroom. Pretty cool, huh? So it's black and white, which is actually kind of perfect because our kitchen is like an off-white, um, like a very light beige and black countertops. So that's a good look. This is our hallway. That is leading to our little terrace. Exciting. So this is what it looks like out here. That's actually our spot right there. They actually put in a divider um, between the spaces. And these are all of our plants <laughs> that we brought from our house. Yeah. So in the hallway, I already started some design idea that I wanted to implement in my hallway. I have my little seating area. As you can see, mirrors will go above. 
I actually have a coat rack that will hang above. Um, I'm going to put a round rug here to separate the four sections that the hallway goes into. This will be our office. Don't mind the desk that actually goes back in the hallway. Um, this will be our office slash a little guest room. I'm actually going to get a futon, a small futon bed to put in there because it folds up and then they can fold it back into a couch. This da -da -da -da, is our living room. I'm telling you, the windows are fabulous. They are arched windows. Reminds me of a bay window, which is in the States and I love bay windows. So when we first came into this apartment and I seen the windows, I was like, okay. <laughs> if it was just based on the windows, I'd be like, I need this apartment like today. But um, of course we had to look at other things to make sure that it met our needs and what we wanted more space. We wanted separate room for our office when we work from home, especially for um, my fiance because he, he has the ability to work from home more than I do. I go back to work from the fifth, y'all. Driving, yes. I will have still on my leg um, crutch <laughs> or sleeve just to be sure. I mean, it's bendable, so I'll be able to break, and if something happens, I'll be able to stop my car. So I'm good with that. That is our laundry room. It's so nice to have our own laundry room. We have to go downstairs and talk to people to do my laundry in the living room. He's pretty excited. Put it up there. Yeah, now I have to help him lift things. And that's what I was trying not to do because my arm is freaking hurt. And I was supposed to wear my arm cast today, but as you can see, it didn't work out. So, talk to you later. Bye. So, guys, we had to go back to OB <laughs> because we need some uh, more light bulbs for the lights we brought and some nails and sleeves for the walls. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> we gotta go back to the old apartment um, because we need our vacuum cleaner and some garbage bags and stuff that we left there. Try to take as much stuff out of it because like I said, we're gonna do um, the dry run tomorrow with the landlord to ensure everything is on the up and up and as you can see i've injured myself <laughs> that was that happened while we were putting stuff in a truck um my uh kitchen rack snagged me so yeah so we're going back to ob i'll show you when what it looks like when we get there so you can see what pretty much is a Home Depot for Germany, which is pretty awesome. Um, okay, see you at the store. Hi guys. So we made it to the OB. The OB is pretty much a Home Depot for Germany. So they have everything here from drywall to windows to paint to tape to scaffolding, lights, tools. Pretty much everything a Home Depot in the States has, this has. It's awesome. So this is your German version of Home Depot, the Obi. So we're here, like I said, looking for some stuff that we didn't have to put up I'm doing a hanging TV in both rooms, one in the bedroom, one in the living room. Um, we're hanging some lights today. We're hanging all the curtain rods today. I don't know if we're gonna actually do furniture, but when we do, of course, you know me, I will tape it, I will. But two buck, look, they even got flannel. Which I think. I think I pull it off. Of course I can pull it off. Anything go good with a pair of boots and a bag, boo. It even comes in red. So, you know, I got choices. Yeah, so he's 
looking for tool set. I told him he just needs to buy a tool set. This one buy tool here, one tool here. Then he yells at me for one tool that he can't find, that he put in the basket. So it's just ridiculous. I like order. I don't know my viewers have gleaned that about me, but I like order. I like when everything is in one place. I can find everything for that place of things like that place. Like tools should be in a toolbox. Dishes should be in a cabinet. Matching plates and cups and spoons makes sense in my world. I don't like the half cup, a blue cup, a yellow cup. Like I'm not finna do all that. I need I need a sequence of things to make sense. That's just me. It's not everybody, it's just me. But I did say that I would tape you into the door. And I know I got a hoodie on. Because it is cold, rainy, and wet in Germany right now. It is currently, I think, going on 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If it's not already, maybe a little after that. So I don't know what time where you are that you're watching this. But thank you for watching. And we'll see you when we get home. And I'll do a walkthrough before, you know, completely signing off. <laughs> So stay tuned guys. Hi guys, we're back from the OB and I told you I wanted to show you my progress of what we've kind of kind of completed. Trying to look a little a little fabulous for ya. Um so I'm using like the light bulbs that you get from IKEA as a lamp because I haven't brought lights for the apartment yet little tip in germany it's not customary for apartment to come with lights or a kitchen as you can see we don't have a kitchen it's very normal to buy a kitchen in german apartments they the company building landlord whatever you want to call it does not provide kitchens is not a law in germany like it is a law in the states you cannot rent out an apartment in the States without a kitchen is unlawful. Here, it's perfectly legal. So I have brought a total of maybe three kitchens in my time, totaling close to like 10 grand. Um, together, when we were together a while back um, in our early time in our relationship and now. So like close to 10, 15 grand we spent just on kitchens. And I, I think that the, ide the ideology behind it is Germans tend to one usually stay in their apartments for a very long time until they either have kids and maybe need a bigger place. So those are very serious life changes or they get married, which is another serious life change. They usually just don't move. As I've moved exactly maybe eight times since I've been here for nine years, which is a lot because Germans don't move that much. But me, not because I'm American, but because I'm probably like a gypsy. Um... I stayed in an apartment like two years and then I'm on to the new apartment. Either better, different location, closer, farther away from work, whatever. This apartment, however, it was stipend in the lease that we had to be in this apartment for two years. That is like the minimum. So they actually put it in the lease that their tenants cannot move out for two years because then they're losing money. They're not getting what they're get, putting in like... They redid the building. We have hardwood floors, like, yeah. And you know, the bay windows, like they redid and reconstructed the inside of this building immensely. So they're wanting to see their profits come back in, which is absolutely normal. And for y'all that I said it was like three something, when I seen y'all OB and said, oh, it's like three something here. It was way later. <laughs> it was like going off five in the evening time. <laughs> When I spoke to y'all when we went to the OB store. So my back on time lapse. Um, but yeah, so this is our living room. It is, <laughs> as you can see, in a disarray. Um, but we just, like, we just moved in today. Like, just moved in. <laughs> like, that's kind of progress if you think about it. Our office hasn't had anything done to it we just put it in there i did start a little bit decorating of the hallway as you can see this plant will not be here 
Um, the TV stand that was originally in our bedroom in our old place, I thought it would be a great focal piece to put in the hallway, put a mirror above it, you know, some pictures of us and our family. Um, not a lot of junk on here. I want to keep a clean look so you won't see all these decorations. You're going to see maybe one or two. Um, these lanterns that I have with the raw stones in it, like I said, I'm bringing the Nord Sea into my home. That's how much of an amazing time I had and how much it's influenced my sense of the core of what I wanted to bring into this apartment. So a lot of these raw materials of raw fabrics, beiges, stone, um, I have bamboo, I'm bringing in. You're going to see a lot of that that you will usually see in the ocean setting or a sea setting in my home as little pieces here and there to kind of say, oh, there's a little piece right there. Oh, there's a little piece of, you know, the North Sea or something that reminds you of the ocean. You'll see it all throughout our apartment, but it won't be overdone. Like it's not going to be that sea everywhere. It's going to be like pieces here and there. Um, I did um, do the nook, one of the nooks. Um, <laughs> my, my fiance is obsessed with this word <laughs> nook, nook. He's like literally said it to friends, like obsessed with it. But <laughs> see. Um, yeah, so I, <laughs> I have, you know, did some focal pieces with like wrapped in a blanket. I am going to use this raw metal to hold all the blankets that's for outside or inside. I am going to finish this area, but this is what I was talking about. Like not the same kind of fabric, not the same kind of design, but each pillow complements each other. Um, here will be our foot, um, our shoe bank, what's a shoe bank is basically, it's a place where you put all your extra shoes that you constantly wear all the time. Of course, it won't be all of our shoes, but just shoes we constantly do wear will be in that shoe bank. We finally did put up the bathroom light. Oh, sorry, that wasn't the light. So, isn't that cool? I love that light. It is so awesome. It's really bright though, so we might have to get dimmer bulbs. But I'd be like it for now because the other light that we have to put is the one, like, yeah, they don't even give you a cabinet over your sink. Like, you gotta buy that too. So it's pretty much, you're buying all things that people would usually buy for a home. No, you buy it for an apartment and journey. It's crazy. Um, and the, our, their sinks are different. They're able to put cabinets under their sinks. Our sinks in the States, I mean, you can get this freestanding sink in your home. Or if there's an apartment that just likes that style, they'll have, probably have this. But in Germany, that is the norm. Freestanding sinks and able to have put what they call is a sink cabinet under it. And it literally is cut out so that the piping can go there. Pretty cool. Um, all of this furniture you've seen at the old place, it's just redoing it in the new place. Um, this cabinet um, you've seen at the old place, I just put a nice, Jap um, I think it's Japanese plant. I don't know what kind of plant it is. I did know when I ordered it for Amazon, but I forgot. I'll get back to you on that. Um, and I just brought some nice, like, um, taupe. Or maybe like a, this is kind of like a light gray, a sand light gray um, towels to, to exhibit. Um, I am thinking about putting a plant in a shower. I just have to find a plant that can withstand humidity. We just got some nice hanging things for our robes. And that is the bathroom. Why do I keep doing it? So our bedroom doesn't have a light. So let me... Turn on. Our bedroom doesn't have a light, but we were able to hook up the TV and we would, Renee, get off the bed with your clothes. Sorry, guys. I told you, I'm not cutting this out. This is real. Um, and I was, we were able to build the bed. Now, our closets are still <laughs> a work in progress, but everything else is pretty much coming along slowly. So... We're going to order some food. I'll probably show you what we're eating. And we'll sign off after that. See you later. No. 
Hey, sorry, I'm a little distracted. So we decided to have Chinese food. Him and his little bowl of soy sauce. I look really bad. And in this video, I really don't care because I'm moving. Nobody looks fabulous moving unless you have movers and a whole entourage of people where you don't actually have to do anything. That's how we move next time. That's how we're going to move next time, he says. Because <laughs> next time we time move... <laughs> excuse me for the swearing. But the next time we move, we'll be moving into a house. So that's our last move. Unless we die or decide to sell the house. So. But I just wanted to touch base with y'all and say we are finally in... We still have to go to the old apartment and take stuff out that we left there. Um, I have to clean out the fridge. You know, we have to do the cleaning. We have to patch up all the holes in the lights. Um, yeah. So that's mainly maintenance. And then we meet with the landlord of that apartment tomorrow so we can do a walkthrough. And we have a birthday party to go to because we found out that it is actually... My brother-in-law's birthday was yesterday, so we're going to celebrate it tomorrow at his mom's house. And this, I guess, will be the end of day one of D-Day moving. And I will follow up with you as we go along and setting things up. And I start designing and putting my ideas into actual physical, you know... Yeah, physical condition. I will be doing um, quite a few um, episodes about me designing the apartment and stuff like that. So look forward to that. And as always, thank you guys for watching my videos. Please, please, please subscribe to me. Let me get my ratings up so that I can show you more of the stuff that I do on everyday life in Germany. The people I come across, the things that I experience while I'm living here. Um, definitely, if you want to see more videos like that, please subscribe, share this video. This is very uncut, very un <laughs> footage. I'm not like in a doctorate or anything. I just wanted to show you real life of what it's like to move in Germany, the experience of, you know, having like colleagues and friends and family when they're not your colleagues or friends and family, they're somebody from a different country. You're kind of just in it and you're trying to experience it all from your point of view um my family has not been here yet so that's something i'm looking forward to so everything is on a one-sided kind of view from me being a german looking into it from my perspective of being with a german man and a family and his friends and so definitely if you want to see real life of me living day by day in Germany and the things I experience, please, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, girl. Tell you. This is your girl Via to Germany signing off saying peace.